preschoolers. I have another book about family eating together. This one's called Let's Eat. One, two, two words in the title. Um, this is by Anna Zamorano and Julie Vivas drew the pictures. In my family, there are seven of us. Mama, Papa, Granny and Grandpa, my brother Salvador, my sister Alicia, and me. I am the smallest, and Mama is the biggest. She is going to have a baby any day now. Oh, look, there's a baby on the bed. Every day at two o'clock, our family eats together in the kitchen. Two o'clock? Hmm. That's a different time. We don't eat, usually eat together at two o'clock. Usually we're at school, waking up from nap. We sit at the big wooden table that my papa made. And when we are all at the table, mama is happy. Papa is listening to all of us talk at once. Granny is telling us about the giant tomato growing in the garden. Grandpa is remembering when he was a young boy. Salvador is wriggling off his chair to hide under the table at our feet. And Alicia is asking a thousand questions. I think she is going to be the wisest person in the village. Sounds like a busy dinner. This Monday, Mama calls from the kitchen. Antonio, go and tell your father to come and eat. We're having chickpea soup. I think I find Papa working in the carpentry shop. He says to me, I can't come home to eat. I have too much work to do. So we have to eat without my father. Oh, what a pity, sighs Mama. Oh, one empty chair. Daddy's at work. On Tuesday, Mama calls from the kitchen. Antonio, go and tell your sister to come and eat. Today we are having empanadas. I find Alicia with her friends. They are learning to dance the Sevillanas. I don't know what that dance is. Pretty cool. Christina's mother is clapping to keep the rhythm. Alicia's mom says, I can't come now. Or Alicia says, I can't come now. I want to practice dancing because the summer fiesta is starting next week. So we have to eat without my sister. Oh, what a pity, sighs mama. There's the sister's chair. They miss her. There's the empanadas on the table. On Wednesday, Mama calls from the kitchen. Antonio, go and tell your brother to come and eat. We are having sardine, sardine, sardinias. Sorry, guys. I'm not very good at these words, but I'm trying. I find Salvador playing hide and seek in the ruins of the castle with his friends, Luis and Manuel. They are crawling between the fallen old stone blocks. Shh, tell Mama I can't come now. I found the best hiding place in the world, whispers Salvador. So we have to eat without my brother. Oh, what a pity, says Mama. Let's make a salad and bread. On Thursday, Mama calls from the kitchen. Antonio, go and tell Granny to come and eat. We are having gazpacho. I find Granny busy in our garden. She says, my dear little Antonio, I can't come to the table right now. I'm busy picking the tomatoes. So we have to eat without my Granny. Oh, what a pity, sighs Mama. She misses her family. On Friday, Mama calls from the kitchen. Antonio, go and tell your grandpa to come and eat. We are having roast pollo. That's chicken. I know that one. I find Grandpa with his friends in the cafeteria. He says, little Antonio, I can't come with you right now. I still have the rest of my story to tell. There he is down there with his friends. So we have to eat without my grandpa. Oh, what a pity, sighs Mama. On Saturday, we are all sitting at the table ready to eat, except Mama. Last night, she went to the hospital to have a baby girl, just like Luelle's mommy. I am happy about my new little sister, but I miss my Mama. Oh, what a pity, I sigh, just like my Mama. Everyone laughs, and so do I. On Sunday, one week later, Mama comes home with little Rosa. Oh, there's the new baby. We are preparing the prawns, crab, squid, mussels, and saffron, saffron rice for the paella. That goes in this big, huge pan. It's very special. At 2 o'clock, we all sit at the big wooden table that Papa made. Papa is making, making Mama laugh. 
Grandpa is telling us about when Mama was a baby. Granny is planning to grow a big pumpkin for little Rosa to eat. Salvador is wriggling off his chair to hide under the table, and Alicia is asking a thousand questions about babies. Oh, how marvelous. How wonderful that everyone is eating together, sighs Mama. The